All right, good. Now let me uh, repeat question number seven. Give me an example of how a recessive gene surfaces using a Mendelian A-B chart. Hey. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't do that. Go on, Mr. Waters. You're giving them the answers right there. Yeah. Yeah, and you got it right, too. Oh. Oh. That's funny. What, you don't think Keith is intelligent enough to know the answer on his own? No, we didn't say that. But you can't just give him everything. He's got to learn it. That's right. Don't you think his genetic gifts are enough? No. Hell no. <laughs> Come on, Keith. These guys don't think you're smart enough to know the right answer. Come on, man. Give it up. Come on, yo, Keith. Give it up, yeah? That's right. Dolly. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. You were brown eyes. You were supposed to read chapter seven. I just gave you the answer. You wrote it down. Go ahead. Give it up. What's all this, man? What's all this? See, it doesn't matter how much genetic talent you have or how much help you get. If you don't take advantage of it and don't use it, you lose it. Hold on. Now, you owe me a paper. I expect it on my desk tomorrow before class begins. If it's not there, you don't play ball. Miss Payton? Yes? My name is Matt Waters. I used to be one of your students. I don't remember you. After 67, I had lots of colored kids in my classes. I was one of your first. I wrote this for your class. Why are you here? You remember me, don't you? I remember lots of things. I'm too old to care about most of them. You know, I always thought that if I ever saw you again, I was gonna be really mad, really angry. I didn't know what I was gonna feel. But maybe I'm just too old now to care. I never forgave you for this. I forgive you now. root for you. They thought you being at the school was good. I just wanted things to stay the way they were. Everything changes, Miss Payton. Everything changes. You know, one of my earliest memories as a child huh? was when my relatives used to throw me in the air. It scared me at first because I always thought I'd rise in real fast and then fall into the ground. You know what? It never happened. Because somebody was always there to catch me. Man, I wish I could give you that same feeling right now. 